Welcome to the Atomic Dart League. Jump into our fast-paced 5v5 gameplay with Ion Rush and Foam Dart Thunder Speedball. Follow dozens of players as they fight to the top of the leaderboards in our ranked season. The Atomic Dart League, a part of the Blaster Tag Association. Season 1, Game 2, Match Number 6. In this game, the blue team comprised of Radio, Radiant, Master Chef, Flying Chicken, and Navy take on the red team with Carius, AA Ron, D Brains, TK1138, and Remus. Let's go. Nice clean break puts me and D Brains up at the front with our flywheels and Carius with a blowgun and AA Ron with a long shot in the rear, giving us the best use of their range. The first exchange quickly drops them two players to our one, leaving me up at the front by myself. Chef moves forward to the L bunker with Radiant, getting ready to make an advance into our lines. With a good 2-1 to one advantage, it's time to close up this field, and let's get AA Rod moving up to the front. Master Chef's pinpoint accuracy with that caliburn makes any sort of move between bunkers really risky. But if we want to make a flag run, which will net us twice the points of an elimination win, we've got to get moving. That means we have got to take Chef out. Otherwise, we aren't getting anywhere near that goal. A well-placed shot from the rear by Revis gives us that window by taking out Chef and letting us move. Hey, cover me. Red team takes the win via elimination, scoring us one point, but if we want to get any higher, we have to score a flag. Radiant makes a fast break for the center bunker, which could put him right in our faces, but does leave him painfully exposed. After losing two players within the first 15 seconds of the round, blue team starts playing a lot safer. But with three active players still on the blue team, making any sort of run right now would be really dangerous. A clean shot from Master Chef takes out D Brains and heavily weakens our left side. If they advance up and take that front bunker, they'll be able to put fire in our side. But with the four of us dug in, and AA Ron and Carius with long range blasters trying to make that advance won't happen. Radio signals over to Navy to make an advance forward. If they can put some suppressing fire on me, Chef might have a shot. We lose Carius and his blowpipe, but I take out both of their remaining flywheel blasters. For one of Chef's well placed shots takes me out. He's still in! We got one in! Get that flag! Get that flag! Revis tries to seize on the opportunity to secure the flag, but gets taken out by Chef as well, leaving the game 1v1. Sniper battle! If Chef manages to take AA Ron out, it's gonna tie up the game 1-1 and go to a third round. But if AA Ron takes out Chef, Red Team takes Chef, the game. Just in. Just in, Chef. Hey, Aaron! You got this! With 20 seconds on the clock, Chef gets bold. Very bold. And Chef secures a flag before A.A. Ron can get a clean shot and hauls straight for the goal. And just when it looked like Blue Team was done, Chef manages to score the flag with 11 seconds left, giving his team two points to our one, going into a third round. The only way for us to possibly win the whole match now is to score the flag. With everyone short on ammo, the field closes fast. The blue team now has a 2-1 to one advantage and cautiously pushes forward. 3-1, to one, and Chicken has the flag. This does not look good. With his teammates keeping AA Ron pinned, Chicken makes a run for it and secures another flag win for the blue team. Again. What was a nice clean first round win by the red team quickly ended up with the blue team taking superiority in round two and three with both wins by flag. And with the wins by flag weighted at two points each, the players of blue team add a lot of points to their season score. Tons more atomic action to come. Hit that subscribe button and follow the game.